In Assassin's Creed 2, you know, we have a new character, so you can make this comparison with Assassin 1, where we had Altair, who was this, this like warrior monk, who was like really strong character. Altair uh, was raised uh, for a very specific purpose. He was educated by this clan of assassins during the Middle Ages, and his job was really to be an assassin from day one. And now we have this new character, Ezio. Ezio, as a character, is a little bit different than Altair. Definitely, he's different. Ezio and Altair are both very, very strong characters. Ezio is really a man of the Renaissance. He's really someone that's open-minded, that wants to find truth, that wants to have fun in general. For Ezio, we wanted something that resembled Altair in the style and general appearance, but also we wanted to make it better with the Renaissance period, which is almost 300 years later. He seems a lot more aggressive. <laughs> Ezio had a normal life until he was 17 years old and then something happens to him and he changes completely. It's a revenge story. So the motivations for the player are not exactly the same. A pity you could not let your father live to see it. So we have this main character who's like, just like you and I at first, and he will become like this master badass assassin. I like it a lot because it really gives you a, a clear motivation and a clear kind of objective of what you want to do. These are the people that made me angry, and these are the people I want to deal with now. And uh, I think it will be much more empowering for the player as an experience.